Hello YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to download and extract music from an ISO file from the Wii. Um, yeah, so to tell you a quick little story here, um, I've just been spending all of today and some of yesterday just trying to figure out how to do it. People have been telling me, use Winamp, use Winamp, no matter which site you went on, they tell you to do that. So I'm just going to describe to you a much, much simpler way to do it than that because, quite frankly, it did not even work for me to do it that way. So... Moving on, you'll need a, a few things to begin with. One, you'll need a torrent provider like uh, uTorrent is my personal favorite. And if you don't ha know how to use torrents, I'll provide a link for that. <clears throat> the second thing you'll need is WinRAR, W-I-N-R-A-R. -R. If you don't know how to use that or what that is, then I'll give you the torrent for that, which is pretty simple to use, and just install it. And other than that, all you need is uh, the ISO file which you could download from any torrent website like if you wanna download something let me give you an example from the website I'm using is torrents.eu you could type in the torrent that you want uh, a popular game for example let's say Super Smash Bros Brawl and you could download it obviously most of you probably know this so I'll just move on um, <clears throat> anyways uh, so once you have that then the only other things you'll need, oh, whoops, didn't mean to do that. Anyways, uh, the only other things that you'll need is Brawlbox, which I'll give you a link for, and Wii Scrubber, which I'll give you a link for. Okay, now that's a whole bunch of stuff that you need, but really these are the only, other thing, only things that most of you who already know how to use torrents and stuff will actually need. Alright, so first thing you'll need to do, open up the Wii Scrubber thing, the folder, it's a folder, not a thing. <laughs> Anyways, um, now... Uh, I'm not sure if all you all you always have to do this, but I remember uh, one time I had to click make key bin, type in 42, and then click generate, and then it'll create these two little files right here, which you'll need to do apparently in order to use Wii Scrubber. I think I'm not entirely sure on that, but it's better to do that just to be safe. Okay, so you can exit out of that folder if you'd like. All right, so now you want to load the ISO. Okay, so wherever you put it, just look for it. I put mine on the desktop, and then my game is Corinth uh, Marble Mania, or just, you know, click on whatever yours is, and then you'll see it, uh, it'll come up with a screen looking somewhat like this. Now, though you may be tempted to look down here for what you're seeing, because this is indeed what you're looking for, you can't do it that way. You have to go under Wii Disk, then click the plus for the partition, then you scroll down until you see something that says, what do you think? Sound. And then, you look even further, it says stream. And then you can pick any of these that you want. <clears throat> I'm not. I haven't run into this problem yet. Maybe perhaps there are some files that don't work. But I mean, for every one that I've tested, which was only a few, you could download any of these .brstm files. So once you have that, you can. Uh, well, I already have Garden, so I'll do. Let's see. How about Garden Three? That works. Anyways, and then uh, I believe you right-click on it and then you click extract and then as you see it'll save it as a brstm file, save it to wherever you'd like click save and it comes up as this thing. Now most of you or maybe I'm being a little bold by uh, saying most of you but at least this is where I got stuck I was just like okay brstm file. I googled it, I was like okay how do you open this and nothing came up or well a bunch of stuff came up but the stuff that came up was not very good so with that being said um, the software that I eventually found was called Brawlbox, which is something you can use to take care of this problem. Okay, so now um, the link I'm going to give you is in a zip file, of course. Um, you do need two files. You need this file and this file. Now, if you want to drag the TXT files with it, you can. But anyways, so this is why you would need WinRAR. So once you have WinRAR installed, all you have to do is just drag it and then drag it to the desktop. Like I said, these things are stupid. I hate reading manuals, so I'm going to delete these things. It's a really straightforward software. It's not needed. And then you could put this stuff wherever you want. This is the stuff that you'll need to put in the same uh, place. You have Brawlbox and then this little DLL file, or DAI. I'm not sure what that stands for. I forget, actually. <laughs> Anyhow, <clears throat> so you'd open up this, double-click it, file, um, open, and then, as you can see here, there's your file. It'll be wherever you put it. 
I put it in my desktop, so I'm going to double click that. And as you'll see, you can play it. And it plays the songs perfectly. So then I believe you want to save it as a, um, <clears throat> um, uh, a wave file, I guess. Let's see here. Oh, okay. You want to do the uncompressed PCM, so a dot wave would definitely be beneficial. So then name it Garden 3. <clears throat> okay. So and then there it is. You should be able to listen to it. Sometimes you can't, but in my case you can. So now that is all that is required. However, if you want to use something like iTunes, um, I'm not entirely sure if iTunes can allow this, can allow WAV files. So if you want to put it on your iPod or something, you need to download a, a specific type of converter, which will convert any type of uh, audio files. And believe it or not, I mean, I tried using this file for an audio converter, but it wouldn't work. So, um, But this, however, I'm almost positive will work. So a good software to use is uh, you can either buy it or I'll provide you the torrent. It's called AVS Audio Converter. So here I'll just go to the. So what you'll have is if you download it, you'll um, you'll come up with this screen, and if it uh, if it works for you, you'll have this type of thing going on. Um, and what you'll want to do is you'll want to put this here, or you could do, click Add to File, and then um, that's the input. Now you want to convert it to a MP3 or whatever you like. Really, you have a lot of options. So everyone likes MP3. Or at least I do. I think that's a very good format, I guess. <laughs> um, quality, nah, I, I don't know. Personally, I don't, to be honest, you just have to mess around with that because I don't know what quality um, these are rendered in just standardly. So I'll just put, why not, good quality. That works for me. Or maybe I could just put, uh, yeah, yeah, that's fine, okay. So then you want to put your output folder as whatever you want. <clears throat> I'm going to click my desktop because it's easy to find stuff in. Then you want to convert it. There you go. Now, um, if you want to extract a bunch of songs at once, you could do the same process I just did, except do it all at once. But either way, right now, here we go, we have the song in MP3 format, which you could put directly to, excuse me, which you could put directly to your... Um, your iTunes playlist or Zune or whatever the heck you kids use these days. <laughs> I've always been an iPod guy, what can I say? Well, anyhow, you guys, I, I do hope that you found this uh, this tutorial useful, and I hope you don't have to spend hours doing this crap like I did. So, um, If you have any questions, feel free to ask me on my YouTube. Thanks, then. Goodbye. Have a nice day.